Hey, howdy, howdy. Brian Loving for uh, Right for Canada. I wish Canada was on the right politically and we got to work really hard to get it back there. Should there be an upper Canada? Should there be a lower Canada? Should Alberta separate? Hey, I got opinions on that. I think I'm qualified to kind of talk about Alberta as well. Seven generations on my mother's side are from Alberta. Seven generations on my father's side are from Alberta. My family's been in Alberta since Alberta wasn't even Alberta. And, uh, and I'm annoyed. Growing up, I watched all this kind of stuff. I was born in 1950. I'm an old guy. I, I get it, but I got a little bit of wisdom. Not as much as I'd like, maybe. But I remember as a child going to my parents and saying, how come it's AGT? What does that mean? And my mother would have this look in her face, Alberta government telephones. I said, why the look, Mom? She said, Government shouldn't own things. Then there's Edmonton telephones, there's Calgary Power, and the government was sneaking in trying to buy everything, and it took a long time. But that stuff kind of got watered down, right? Right, right. And now it's kind of coming back, certainly federally, so we have to work really hard to make sure that the government kind of keeps out of our way, and I'll get into that a little bit more as I start to read stuff that I wrote down. The Canadian people should be very concerned that rather than prosecuting criminals, the Liberal government goes after legally vetted and trained gun owners. Disarm the good guys? It's a slippery slope, I, I, and it truly is. You start taking away guns, you take away rights. I mean, I have a friend who says, I don't like guns, I don't want a gun, but everybody should have a gun if they want a gun as long as they pass the test. And if I ever want one, if I change my mind, I should have the right to do that. And then he went on to say, if it wasn't for guns in the hands of good guys, we'd all be speaking German. So I'm kind of jumping the topic here, top X here, but, but I'm just trying to make a point about freedom. And I, I think that's something that all of us need to work at. We used to think the politicians would do it for us, but look where we are. Ah, who voted for these people? Ah, the CBC. The CBC loses money. They lose about $2 billion a year of your money. So if you do the math from when they originated, it's trillions, with a T, trillions of dollars. And they get bonuses. It, it's almost like the more you lose, the more you got a bigger bonus. Just recently, they were given an additional, or more, a further, pick a word, $18 million in bonuses. $18 million. Wow. And last year, they lost billions. Does that work for you? It certainly doesn't work for me. CBC had its place way back when. There were people in Canada that didn't have access to. I get it. But that's long over. Close it down. I mean, politicians make me crazy. A conservative government says, elect us and we're going to defund it. Defund it? Close it. Sell it. Get out of it. How long does it take? Be a business person because running the government is a business. Governments exist into this now. Governments exist for the common good. They do. Government built ports in deep harbors and forts in the frontier and the governments raise armies to defend us. They hire police also for our protection. They subsidize hospitals and schools. That's not socialism. That's service. That's service that the people pay for. So there's a line. When do they cross the line? They've crossed the line in Canada. We got to separate. Just saying. So what leads to socialism is when you draw the line on government's activity, right? You can use taxpayers' funds to open a library where you lend books out. But the government, when they start buying bookstores to sell books, that's another issue because that's going towards socialism. You know, it's an unclear line. You have Alaska, and then you have Norway, and you have all, and Alberta. You have all of this money coming in from oil, and what do you do with it? I mean, in Alberta's case, they give it all to Quebec. They truly do. The Heritage Trust Fund, that's another topic for another day. Albertans think, isn't it great we have a Heritage Trust Fund? You better all look into it. What the government does is they lend that money to Quebec, and they never pay it back, for the most part, just saying. You know, the biggest thing is freedom. I, I mean, don't think for me. And the government says, we're going to keep building bookstores now and sell books because we're smarter than you, and you can come and buy a book with what money you have left. Are you getting all of that? I mean, it's kind of a complicated circle. Or is it? Hey, you know. Now, uh, when's the last time you went to a town hall meeting and a politician stood up and said, I'm going to take from you. I'm not going to give you anything. Everybody else that gets up here, they're going to give you. They're always giving. I'm going to take. I'm going to take everything away that other people have given you. And guess what? You get more because your taxes will go down. Your freedom goes up. Your opportunities, wow, just like a rocket, they go up. And that's what I'm going to do. A politician should do that. I mean, it's like government. I want a government that's like a snowplow. You know, I, I do. I, I clear the road for me, but, but you're... 
you know, you're not my Uber driver. I, I mean, get out of my way. I, I mean, let me clear the road so I can do my own thing. I can go where I want to go. But instead, you clear the road, you charge me to do it, and then you tell me where to go. <laughs> Pardon me, but you do. I mean, I, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Spooky, spooky stuff. Not good. I got one more thing. I'll save it for another day. Hey, y'all come back at it. Politically, right is right, left is wrong. And, and the governments have taken us so far left. Even if you're a liberal or a left-wing person, and I know many who have been, they're coming around. They say, I got to hold my nose to vote conservative, but you need to. The word conservative does inspire hope. There's no hope with liberalism. None at all. A liberal has changed from what they used to be. They're socialists. Hey, y'all come back.